The true value of automation really shines when we have the ability to apply it to a dynamic environment with constantly changing conditions, so that when a new event comes in, we can receive it, we can enrich it, and then we can use all of that intelligence to inform our automated actions. Now to demonstrate this, I've set up more of a dynamic environment to show you just how it's done with Ansible Automation Platform and event-driven Ansible. Let me show you what I've been working on. So to do this, I've created an application called Swing Site Metrics. Now it's not really important to know what this application does. I created it, I barely know what it does. It tracks golf ball shots and uh, it projects their total number of yardage and where on the driving range they might land so that we can dispatch a robotic golf ball collector. Now, once I created this application, I wanted to be able to pull some data out of it. And I'm kind of interested in working with Datadog, so I wrote an event source plugin that allows me to pull events out of Datadog. Now, that means that this application is instrumented by Datadog, so that when my custom source plugin reads that a brand new event within Datadog is firing against this application, then I can react to that specific threshold and trigger some automated action in response. Now, part of this custom integration for Datadog that I created for this sort of POC demonstration environment here includes a new dashboard. So when I go into Datadog, I can open up my Swing Site Metrics dashboard and I can see the number of balls that are currently out in the driving range. I can also see how many balls are in each zone of the driving range. And I get the metrics for the last ball that left, um, left the tee box at my driving range. So let's generate some data and see if we can make something happen. Back here on my swing site application here, I'm going to simulate 55 balls being teed off into the driving range. Now once I hit those balls, you can see my dashboard within the application updates. I can see 55 balls are in the field, and then I get the metrics, the latest metrics for the last ball that left the tee. Back over in Datadog, once I refresh my dashboard, you can see that these balls are sort of now arriving within this dashboard. I have 38 total balls in the field. If I refresh again, I probably have closer to 55, which is the number of balls that I simulated leaving the tee box. I can also see the counts in each one of the zones on my driving range. Now this is important because this is a metric that I will reuse to dispatch my robotic golf ball collector. So once all the balls are now reflected and represented within my uh, zone here, this one will be interesting because two of these zones have an equal number of balls. Anyway, let's see how this one reacts. Within this dashboard, you can also see that I have a monitor defined. Now, this monitor is looking for the total number of balls to exceed 10 for an average of the last minute. Now, this alert is sent directly to event-driven Ansible by way of this custom source plugin that I created for Datadog. And once this happens, we're able to check the conditions within this event payload coming from Datadog and decide whether or not we should respond to this event. Okay, I've refreshed and I can now see that the monitor is currently firing. Now, this means that event-driven Ansible is already aware of this and should have kicked off an action in response. So let's check that out. Now we're in event-driven Ansible controller. An event-driven Ansible controller has these sort of event event listeners or rule book activations that are always listening to events coming in on a configured source. So you can see that I have swing site events is my event listener or rule book activation here, and it's listening for events coming from Datadog. Let's go over to the rule audit screen. Here we can see dispatch range roamer, and this was my current local time is 208, so this fired within the last couple of minutes here. If I click on it, I get to see the event that actually triggered this rule. If I go on to my custom source plugin here, we can see that total number of balls exceeded 10 on average during the last one minute, and this is the event that we received. Now in response to this, we kicked off an action, and it was to run a job template. So over here in Automation Controller, here is the job template we were supposed to execute. Let's go over to Jobs and see what happened when it executed. We can see Dispatch Range Roamer was executed within the last two minutes. 
Let's take a look at the output. So first thing it does is collect some metrics. Well, first thing it does is actually debug the event we received. So let's click on that and ensure that the payload matches. This is all of the payload that comes from Datadog in response to any event occurring over there. So we can see that this particular event was a monitor alert. And then we can see the title of the alert was swing site metrics total balls exceeds 10 and that is the alert that we need to um, to respond to 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 actually dispatch this robotic golf ball collector we can see that we um, we actually reached out using another custom ansible module for datadog and it runs some queries and pulls in those collected metrics and in this case it total up the number of balls within each zone in my driving range from there it's going to take the highest metric now here's a little logic problem i hit 55 balls which i guess does um, does divide evenly among three zones so I have two competing zones and it looks like we just took the first one which was zone three with 22 balls in that zone and we dispatched a range roamer to that zone once we finished sweeping of that specific zone within our driving range uh, we inform the application that that has happened, which also then clears out the metrics for that application. So if I go back here, everything is zero. If I hit the metrics endpoint for this application, we shouldn't see, uh, we should also see it reflected there. This is what Datadog is actually scraping. So that by, by the time I actually go back to my monitor, it's all green now. If I go into my dashboard, I should see that all of those metrics have also been cleared out here. So this is a way that we can reuse application metrics that are generated and, and instrumented using some observability platform to respond to these changing conditions and execute some automation, automated action in response. Now you might be wondering how I specified which event was going to trigger an action. Now in, in Event Driven Ansible, this all happens within the rulebook. So let's take a look at my rulebook here. Up here I have a, a, a custom source plugin that I've created called DD Events, and it takes an application key, API key, and a URL to the events endpoint hosted by Datadog. Now the events endpoint, I picked this because it's kind of neat. It kind of pulls in a bunch of different types of events all into one endpoint, so I can see when an incident was created or when a, an alert monitor is resolved or firing and things like that. So I get to see a bunch of different things within Datadog all from one endpoint and I thought that was pretty cool. Now I might be using this wrong so if you're Datadog, if you know somebody who Datadogs, I'm sorry. This is just a sort of PSC that I kind of whipped together here. Now this first, this first rule is just going to catch incidents events, right? So I can use event source and plug in and, and hook in on, um, on incidents that are created from Datadog. But here is what I'm really after. Now I am looking for just monitor alerts right i'm not looking for incidents i'm looking for a new monitor alert that is in a certain state and i'm looking for in the title it should contain the word swing site and it should be in the triggered state um, which i'm also pulling out from the event title to say whether it's triggered or whether it's recovered now from here once an event comes in that matches these conditions it's going to perform an action and that is to run a job template now this job template is running on a controller within my, envi my environment and it is called dispatch range roamer and here is that playbook that corresponds to that job template it's just called dispatch range roamer and it's pretty simple first it's just going to debug the event it receives from datadog it just prints it out now the next thing it does is run a custom ansible module that i created to query datadog itself so that i'm receiving the incident and then i can enrich it with this additional level of detail coming from datadog and then reuse that within my automation logic now I'm passing it again an API key, an application key, and an endpoint URL for the query endpoint hosted by Datadog, and I'm passing in three different queries. And these are to query the total number of balls in each one of my zones that is that are metrics that are that are hosted by my application, and you saw these in my dashboard.
Now, once I have all of these metric queries returned, I can figure out which one has the highest concentration of balls in that particular zone, and I can dispatch my robotic golf ball collector just to that one zone. Now, finally, once I'm done with all that, I will finish the sweep, which is just running this, uh, this get on an endpoint, which clears all the metrics that are being posted from uh, by my application. So if you would like to play around with using Datadog as a source for your events within Event Driven Ansible, I've made this project um, publicly available. So you can go in and, and pull this DD events source plugin. You'll just have to pass in an API and app key and, um, and uh, then you'll be able to go out and query that events endpoint for brand new events published by Datadog and then act on those. Likewise, if you'd like to play around with that Datadog query module that I wrote for Ansible, you can do the same thing. It's all documented here from this public repository. Pass in your API and app keys and the, the metrics that you would like to pull or the queries that you would like to run against Datadog. And it does this pretty pretty quickly, returns them all back to the, uh, the, the playbook so that you can reuse that within the logic for your automation. Okay, one more thing. So what if you wanna run this demonstration or this stack yourself and just play around with using application metrics to drive automation. Well, you can do that today by yourself using Prometheus, Alert Manager, and Grafana. I've already built this configuration into this project. So clone the project, go to Prometheus, and run Podman Compose up on this Podman Compose file. This will stand up Prometheus, create some new alerts for the total number of balls out in the field. It'll pass that alert over to Alert Manager, and uh, also stand up a really nice Swing Site Metrics dashboard within Grafana. Um, and of course, it'll stand up the application itself called Swing Site. Now, for the Ansible rulebook or the event-driven Ansible side of things, I've opted just to include the command line Ansible rulebook. So I'm creating a new containerized version of Ansible rulebook and passing it the, the path to the rulebook, the inventory file, and the playbook to respond to these particular events. So if Prometheus and Alert Manager are more your thing, you can go that route. Alert Manager, you also have the benefit here of having a certified, certified and supported event-driven Ansible source plugin for Alert Manager so you're not running my weird Datadog code experiment. All right, so thank you very much. That is how you can use application metrics to drive your automation.